All right, welcome to another episode from the Chart Readers. So this is a viewer request video. We're gonna look at Palantir. A lot is happening right now as I'm speaking. We're gonna look at TRVN as well as OMH, all right? So um, look, if you watch my videos, you very much know I only care about regular hours, all right? That said, there is a lot happening right now post-market, all right? There's still another two hours remaining. And again, what I'm going to do is actually focus on regular hours, but I will very much discuss this and, and really talk about how I would react to this. All right. But this is based on good news. This is not some randomness like Palantir dropped the hammer with their earnings right now. Back to back GAAP profit numbers, some shit like that. I know I looked at a quick headline before I, I started hitting record. So. Um, yeah, this is for real. That's that's for sure. All right. That said, what are we going to do? Same thing we always do, right? We're going to take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how things are setting up short term. We do have our five moving averages. There are horizontal support and resistance lines that I do draw manually myself. And then when we're done up here, we'll use the MACD, RSI and volume as our lower indicators. Hey, really quickly, if you can please like this video, subscribe to the channel, share the video, comment on it. Anything you can do really does help with the YouTube algorithms. But for real, I am so, so grateful and thankful that you are you're here and giving me your time. You know what I mean? And look, I'm not perfect. I'm not all knowing. And if you've got better opinions than I do, I would love to hear them. All right. So um, with that said, let's get into it. And again, I'm going to start with the regular hour analysis. OK, because because this is my bread and butter all right i i genuinely believe more real trading and more um predictable trading happens during the normal hours than it does after hours and pre-market okay that said i've always said there are two things that will make every single line on the screen we're looking at completely irrelevant the first one is good earnings or bad earnings. The second one is like an FDA approval denial or like a government up or down, like anything government agency up or down or earnings up or down will really just destroy everything that we're looking at, either good or bad. OK, and on the regular before earnings drop, look, I, I, I say it often. Moving average clusters are are hard, all right? It, it looks like it's gonna wanna run up, it comes back down. Looks like it's gonna wanna run up, comes back down. Looks like it's gonna wanna run up, comes back down. And this thing was on the verge of, look, I don't think anyone would have honestly believed this was gonna come down to 750. Hell, I honestly never thought this was gonna come down to 750. Even while I was saying, you know, just be careful here. I actually, back in my head, I really thought that this was gonna break up and go. I was wild mildly surprised that this came down the way it did, all right? And again, if earnings wasn't going to happen today or if earnings was going to be bad, this would have come like below that 616 line. I, I actually honestly believe that. But instead, what happens? This is what happens, right? We we have now smashed. I mean, and look, let's let's be honest. There's a couple let me let me let me take a step back before I go forward. There's a lot that can happen, all right? There's still two hours in post-market, and then there are several hours in pre-market before this thing opens, all right? Like, this very easily can open at 790 and, and run up, wow, 970, dyslexic much? Jesus, 970 and run up. This actually, I, I will be honest, I could see this coming down to 878, all right, I don't think it would come much lower than 880, 878. Maybe it could come down to nine bucks. All right, I can actually see that happening. Okay, and let's just let's just actually see where we're at right now. Okay, look, I'm looking at the 15 minute chart, a good strong run. We're now actually below the eight moving average. And unless we go back up, this actually might come back, might come around that nine or yeah, maybe some of those numbers I was talking about even while I'm making this video right now. But again, I can very much see us coming here, right? And then I can very much see us coming here, okay? There. That said, remember where we're at in regular hours, okay? So the just, just 
as of today, as of the close of today, we, we've broken two moving averages and the goal would be give me good confirmation. On a normal day, all you'd have to do is come up to around here. Hell, even probably around like nine, seven, seven, wow, 790 to really call that good confirmation, right? Honestly, if this thing, look, we're, I'm talking, I, I am very, very much aware that I'm talking about a 930 stock right now. Like, don't get me wrong, right? But for real, this thing can really come down to like 810. I strongly, strongly doubt it, but I at least have to throw it out there. Because again, regular hours, right? So this right here will be an accomplishment on itself. But again, I genuinely believe we're either going to like, 8, 880, I think would be the lowest I would expect this thing to open, all right? Otherwise, for real, there is so much good recovery. Like if you look, there are actually not a lot of hard plateaus by here, all right? And you know, we're, where are we right now? Let me, let me put this back on right now. Let's just see where we're at after hours comparatively. So we're sitting right here. Like, again, I'm not, I'm seeing a whole mess of green, 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 red, 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 green, 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 red, 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 green, green. Like there aren't a lot of just really hard resistance lines. And honestly, and, and even after that, in between this, it's kind of green, 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 red, 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 green, green. Like it's, it's, it, this thing wants to come to 1146. I actually, I, I think I genuinely believe that. Again, I think you might be able to, to, if you're not in already, might be able to squeeze in a buy at nine, maybe even a little lower than nine, around 880. But yeah, if this thing smash, and, and honestly, I'm gonna set an alert at 971. 97, ah, I gotta do some stuff. There, there could be real good reason to average up on this too. Cause again, it's just, the the hardest plateau like this probably seems like the hardest line and then from there that's kind of the next plateau right there too right so um palantir for sure watch this tomorrow and then more than anything wednesday's confirmation should be really 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 telling all right tomorrow's going to be important don't get me wrong but wednesday might actually matter a lot more than you'd think all right so let me go to regular hours as i switch over to and then look i'm not going to look at the weekly chart because the weekly chart just going to look like a horizontal cluster right like nothing matter like let's see what happens tomorrow and then again wednesday should be the, the hammer drop Okay, so now we're going to move to TRVN and I have to, I have to say it. Look, a 393% gain on a single day, that's, that's not real trading, right? Like that's buying a lotto ticket and hell yeah. If you made any sort of money on this thing, like hell yeah, for real, I'm happy for you, all right? Like... Um, and it's, it's I, I mentioned this in the comments, it actually looked like there was some news. So from what I saw, there was an approval for a drug on um, in the Chinese market, all right? And look, there are a lot of people in China and if you can start selling stuff to all of them, that's big dollars regardless what the stuff is, you know what I mean? So entering the Chinese market across any sector is huge. I'll be real honest with you though, I, I am more used to US FDA approvals than I am an overseas approval, you know what I mean? But nonetheless, we're gonna, we're gonna look at this as a recent runner, all right? And what do I care about? I'm telling you, I'm not here pretending to tell you I know how to find these. What I can tell you is all I'm pretty sure I'm good at knowing if this thing's going to continue up or if this thing was just a silly pump and dump that's going to leave a lot of bag holders, all right? And it's, it's the same thing I always say for any of these. So first and foremost, let's talk about yesterday. Yesterday's volume on this stock, if you look at the box over there towards the bottom, VOL, volume is 63,000 shares, all right? Today was 108 million. The 0.8 alone is actually more than the 0.6 that with this, you get, you know what I'm like, there, this thing went like a bajillion times higher up. Like I'm not here to pretend I can do the math that quickly, right? But this thing went, this thing moved a lot of decimals, right? So are you really gonna believe that this thing's gonna hold 100 million shares tomorrow? Or is this thing gonna come back down to the like 60,000, 150,000, 100,000, 40, like, is this gonna come to like even 13 million, which is a very high number, because, like, I, as I zoom out, as I zoom out, as I zoom out, there's never been a deal. Let's even go to the weekly. 
there has there this is the like highest I could see any sort of candles and it was seven million before today like this little this little cluster was what I was trying to like thing right so five million seems like it's going to be a really hard volume to hit based on historical and that would be more than a 90 percent drop in volume right so number one thing you got to do is look at volume all right and obviously there was a great question from someone which was basically like how am i going to know full day volume in the first couple minutes of trading right honestly i think you should be able to tell if you're really really close to like probably hitting a hundred million over the next x number of hours or if it looks like it's a struggle, right? Because again, let, let's just use simple, simple math. Let's pretend that there are 10 hours of trading. I better be at a million by that, by that first, um, am I doing my math right? No, one time, I better be at 10 million by the first hour because that will make me believe across the next nine hours, I'll get the other 90 that I need to hit the 100, right? So I think that's essentially what I'm trying to do. But volume dropping is going to be huge. And there's, there's basically only a couple places this is really going to go. It'll either come to here at 428, all right? It'll either come here, and I don't think it will come here. I'll be honest with you. I think it's either going to be 428. I'm saying here because that's basically the 200 moving average. I think it'll come here, uh, there. Uh, that's too high. That's closer. That's my 50% candle line, or I think it's going to come here. All right. It's, it's either going to continue on from the 200 and go here. Shit, maybe even go a little higher in all honesty because after that, there's a little bit of something like right here. And then honestly, after that, it actually might come to here, right? So there's, there's a lot of silliness that might happen if it continues. Otherwise, honestly, 166 seems very, very realistic here. And hell, I actually wouldn't be even surprised if it dropped to 123, all right? The, these are the lines, 123, 166, 428. One more time, the moral of the story on this is don't try to get high on a Look, there... Drugs are bad, okay? Let me let me quote Mr. Mackey real quick, okay? That said, there are not a lot of drugs that will get you as high as making good money in the stock market, all right? I can I can honestly tell you that firsthand, all right? Not that I know what drugs are like, because again, drugs are bad, right? But, dude, making money is, is an amazing high. It's such a good rush. It, 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 whew, I'm, you know? If you're trying to catch 400 bird, hell, the next one we're going to look at is, is, is not this high, but it's still silly high. Like you can't try to catch these. I'm telling you, it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a very unsustainable game in my opinion. This is a very interesting chart here. Okay. OMH. All right. The, the big, big story here is essentially if you can break all time highs. Look, I often say all time lows is a black hole vortex of death, all right? Once you lose the all time low number, like such bad things can happen. If you can break an all time high, blue skies, baby. I'm in LA right now. I'm looking out my window. It's a beautiful blue sky day here, right? Like that is what this is. And again, another 300 burger, like this isn't, Okay, this is a little easier to maybe catch than the last one. Because again, all-time highs, dude, it's anyone's guess, all right, for sure. The other one, I think, was just a little more silly reaction to Chinese market entry approval, if I had to guess. But this one, okay, honestly, again, it's either going to be 50% can That's too, I think it's there. Whatever, that's close enough. 50% candle, if I had to guess, that's probably where the eight moving average will come up to tomorrow. 9.30, give or take, or for real, if this thing, I'm gonna set an alert for, oh, God damn it, I already forgot that. I am gonna set an alert here at, I'm probably gonna set it at 26.01. I, I think if we can get, oh, what are we at after hours? I'm actually really curious. Oh, shit, that dropped hard, look at that. Nonetheless, all right? This is definitely an interesting one. Again, regular hours do matter more to me, all right? And I will set an alert at 2601. If this thing breaks 26, 
like honestly if this thing breaks 2599 that's actually a good place you can put an entry too right but i'd rather skip the zero and and come over at the 01 mark on the other side of that zero line but um all-time highs baby that's what this is otherwise again 50 percent candle roughly the eight moving average or maybe back to this peak that like made the silliness happen right at the minimum i would kind of say oops i gotta take this too so good timing i gotta hurry um i would say this sorry oh shit <laughs> there's not that much running from down here which was what six something to like 750 if it just stopped there that would have been real nice because tomorrow it probably would have continued even better i think doing it all in one day made it suck because i say it often slow and steady is actually better than a silly like pop like this because again pump and dump is is what i think and same volume story right 1.2 today what was it 88,000 shit 30,000 yesterday come on get out of here right like either we're going to come back down to like 50,000 shares and give up a little more than 50% or we got to hold 1 million again. So um, just my opinions. I got to take this call. You know, I appreciate you so, so much. Thank you. Thank you.